Run this shit like cardio. Woo. Hi beauties and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kenzie and as you guys can see, my hair is looking so crazy. So don't you worry y'all, we're gonna fix that. Starting off by using um, this little mixture concoction deep conditioner little thingy I made. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys right now how I went ahead and made it. So to start off, I'm gonna take a couple spoonfuls of my deep conditioner of choice, which just so happens to be this Shea Moisture one. You can use whichever one you like though. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna go in with a hefty amount of this glycerin um, and a few different oils being this avocado oil, some jojoba oil, as well as some almond oil. And then last but not least, one of my favorites has been tea tree oil. It's super, super good for helping um, reduce hair loss and promote hair growth, um, as well as cleanse without being too dry. So just go ahead mix it up really really well and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the shower So in the shower, I did do a full wash day So shampoo conditioner detangle and then I just added that deep conditioner on while I was in the shower Just to kind of reduce a mess and you know make it a little easier on the girl and then you know the deal I'm gonna go ahead and add a shower cap for deep conditioning Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my phone. Hey y'all. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the um, steam room because I need to go ahead and steam my hair for at least 15 minutes. We gotta get this hair right before these braids because I will be damned if I lose my edges or any of my hair at that matter. So also, <laughs> y'all like my little ratchet setup? It be like that, let's go. After 15 minutes of deep conditioning in the steam room, I'm just gonna hop back into the shower. And me personally, I like to co-wash my deep conditioner out um, whenever I'm doing like a protective style or anything like that. That way I don't have too much oils and products weighing down my hair. And then if you happen to have a cotton t-shirt or microfiber towel laying around, you can use that to wring out the excess water. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use a paper towel. And the reason why I'm even wringing out the excess water is because I'm gonna go ahead and sleep with these twists in. And since I'm gonna be blow drying my hair in the morning, I wanna get my hair as dry as possible throughout the night so to prep my hair for sleep time or bedtime I don't know why I just said sleep time I'm gonna use this really cool like dread cap thing that I found at my local beauty supply it's really convenient so I'm gonna put my twist up in that and go to sleep for the night until we finish the process in the morning <laughs> So it's the morning now, my twists are all nice and dry, feeling all plump, juicy, juicy. Yes, that deep conditioner did wonders. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my hair for blow drying. And whenever I'm using any type of heat protectant, you wanna have your hair a little bit damp. So I'm gonna start with my favorite Tresemme heat protectant. This is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of that on my ends and throughout my hair, not too much. And then this is another oldie but goodie. This is the turn up the heat. I don't even know, honestly. It smells really, really good. And I never really use it if I'm straightening my hair because it is a little bit greasier. But because I'm gonna have my hair in braids, I added a little bit um, just, just cause. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that through my hair and I'm gonna work in like smaller sections um, when I'm blow drying my hair just to make sure I can get it as straight as possible because I am gonna be dusting my hair, trimming my hair, whatever you wanna call it. So I want my ends to be as um, straight, I guess you can say, as possible. After I blow dry each section, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of oil. Now you're gonna see that I add the oil to my hand and then I kind of rub my hands together and then I wipe my hands off a tiny bit onto a towel and then rake the product through my hair. The reason I do this is because again, I don't want my hair to be too, too greasy or oily. So I do want oil, but not too, too much to where the braids just slide right out, you know? So like I said, I twist each section up and the reason why I'm doing this, you'll see in a second, um, it's gonna make the process of dusting and trimming a little bit easier. Easier. So, as you can see, your girl got some hang time. Ew. <laughs> When it comes to dusting my ends, trimming my ends, keep in mind I'm by no means a professional. How I'm going about this is just taking my ends and kind of twisting them up to see which part, like at the end, is really scraggly and just needs to go. I'm not trying to take too much because I really want to do an actual trim and my hair is curly because that's how I wear it.
here as you can see like you can tell that needs to go <laughs> cut it just cut it hey get it but other than that i'm not taking too much off i'll do a real trim later on um but once i'm done trimming my hair i'm just gonna go ahead and take those twist outs unravel them and um yeah we'll be good to go <laughs> Okay, so it's now 12.54 and I just finished blow drying my hair. We're looking real good on time right now. My hair appointment is at 1.30 and I need to leave the house by like 1. So I threw my hair into this little braid. That way it doesn't get all tangled um, in the meantime. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get on the road to go get this hair braided. And I'm so nervous, you guys. No one ever touches my hair, okay? I touch other people's hair. I do other people's hair. They don't do my hair. I do my hair. So I'm so nervous. Pray for these edges, yo they're already going through it right now so just fingers crossed all goes well so I'll see you at the hair salon <laughs> Paparazzi, catch my fly and my cocky fresh. My daddy, Alabama. Mama, Louisiana. You mix that Negro with that Creole. Make a Texas. Make a Texas. Make a Texas. Make a 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 Make a
Okay, so I'm back from getting my hair done, and y'all, I feel so good. I literally feel like Beyonce. You can't tell me nothing. I absolutely love, 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 love them. The braids took about six hours. I know we started at about like 2.15, and we got done at about 8.30-ish. And it was a long process, but, mm, girl, like I said, can't tell me nothing. I've never had braids, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, do a little you feel me real quick. I haven't switched up my hair color in a while. I haven't gotten anything done in general to my hair in so long. So, you know, your girl was hyped to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, the type of hair. Oh, oh, oh. So, the woman that did my hair, I had asked her if she had, like, a preference in the type of hair that she wanted me to buy, how many packs, blase, blase. And she said that she prefers using the Bobby Boss hair brand. So, this is Bobby Boss. It looks like this. Now, here's the thing. So, I actually went to one beauty supply store and I bought nine packs of Bobby Boss, but it wasn't this Bobby Boss, if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't King Soft and Silky Bobby Boss. If I can find a picture of which Bobby Boss hair it was, I'll definitely include it in the video. But um, I went to another beauty supply literally right after that and they had this King Soft and Silky Bobby Boss. That's so hard for me to say. Bobby Boss. So I just ended up getting nine packs of this. Now this one right here isn't the color that I have in my hair. The color that I have in my hair is just this color right here. Like this maroon looking color. That's the color that I have in my hair. I bought one pack of this like ombre looking one. Just in case she needed it. But we ended up using eight packs of the all burgundy hair i don't remember how much this was i think it was like i want to say it was like 2.99 to 5.99 at the local beauty supply Woo! your girl is mother can tie it okay i've been doing my hair and filming since I woke up this morning so you already know I'm ready to go to sleep so thank you guys so much for watching the video and of course thank you for coming along with me as I got my hair braided for the first time since I was like nine years old I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did definitely be sure to give it a giant thumbs up and of course comment down below and if you're not already be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification that way you never miss a post and um, other than that I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. Saw you last night, but did it all day.